What's for dinner? Hey everyone, I'm Chef Z and welcome back to my channel, Chef Z Cooks. Today I have an exciting recipe for you guys. I'm going to be showing you how to make yellow Spanish style rice in the Instapot. Yes, you heard that correctly. I have a fun cooking hack for you guys. Now, if you're an oldie but goodie here, one of my OG subscribers, then you know that I actually have a video here on my channel where I show you how to make this yellow Spanish rice on the stove in a regular pot. However, ever since I actually shared my video on how to make moro de guandule in the Instapot, a lot of you guys have been like, okay, Z, mind blown didn't think about that now how do you make like a good old traditional yellow rice so today i'm going to be showing you guys all of my tips and tricks and i just want to tell you guys that yes the moro de guandula in the instapot super delicious however the settings for this recipe while similar are just a little bit different and don't worry because i'll walk you through all of the settings now the great thing about these settings is that you can actually use them on different devices if you don't have an instapot at home because yes the instapot does have a rice setting but the settings that i like to use give me just a little bit more control so if you want to learn how to make the perfect yellow spanish rice in the instapot just go ahead and keep watching so the secret to making the best yellow rice is actually to infuse some fresh ingredients like these fresh garlic and some fresh bell peppers. I like to use either yellow bell peppers or orange ones just so that they disappear into the rice. Do note that I am using a chicken bouillon cube, you can use your favorite seasoning salt instead. So first things first, we're going to set our Instapot to saute. And then when that gets nice and hot, we're gonna add some olive oil. And now we're gonna start sauteing our veggies. So I'm going to use a white onion and a yellow bell pepper because again, I want this to disappear into my rice. And this is a great trick to infuse some veggies in case you have some picky eaters. Now the trick is to actually mince them pretty small so that they pretty much dissolve into the rice. So once all of those veggies are nice and soft, we're now going to add our chicken bouillon cube and our sazon con azafrán, which is sazon with saffron, which is going to give the rice that beautiful yellow vibrant color. Now do keep in mind that you can use your favorite seasoning salt and instead of using water, you can also use some low sodium chicken stock. Because I want my rice to be super flavorful, I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of tomato paste, which is really nice and concentrated. Now the trick to this is to mixing it in really well so that it breaks up nicely and so that you don't have chunks of tomato paste in your rice later on. I am now going to take my pre-washed long grain white rice and I'm going to add it into the Instapot and I'm going to mix it in until it is absolutely covered in these wonderful seasonings that we just sauteed. And this is also going to kind of crisp up the rice just a little bit and toast it, but don't worry because it won't come out hard later on. This is just a great way to make sure that all those flavors are infused thoroughly into the rice. And once you've mixed the rice completely in with all of those seasonings, we're now going to actually take some water, but you can definitely use some chicken stock instead. And we're going to add it to the Instapot. And that's also going to help deglaze the bottom of the pot, which you wanna make sure to grab all of those flavors. We're gonna mix that together as well. And now we're actually going to place the lid onto our Instapot. And you wanna make sure that it is in the sealed position because we will be pressure cooking. So now we're going to set our pressure cooker to pressure cook on high for two minutes. And then after those two minutes, you actually want to let the pressure cooker slow release for 15 minutes. And what you have is some beautiful fluffy rice, but you actually have to go in and fluff it up just a little bit. And as you can see right here, that rice is perfectly cooked and it is so, so good. Now do keep in mind that if you want your rice to be a little bit on the firmer side, feel free to release the pressure after 10 minutes. So there you guys have it. That's my recipe for Instapot Yellow Spanish Rice. If you have any questions, comment down below. And until next week, I'm Chef Z y buen provecho.
All right, guys, so as you saw, making this yellow Spanish rice in the Instant Pot was super, super easy. Now, there's a couple of things that I do want to note with this recipe, and that is that you can actually customize the firmness to, of the rice to your liking. So if you're like my aunt, and she likes her rice a little bit on the firmer side, feel free to slow release it and make sure you let go of the pressure. I would say like about after 10 minutes. I like my rice super fluffy, not mushy, but just, you know, perfectly soft, like clouds. Y'all get the deal. So that's why I like to let it slow release for at least about 15 minutes. But if you want to let it go before the 15 minutes, it's totally fine. Just not before 10 minutes, because otherwise the rice is going to be just a little bit too, too firm. So if you have any questions, be sure to comment down below. Be sure to visit my website for the full recipe with a little bit more details. Like always, I'll be back next week with a brand new video. Now I am starving. I'm going to go ahead and dig in. And until next week, I'm Chef Z. Y buen provecho. Mm. Mm. This is really good. This is good. It's so good, babe. You can eat it by itself. I don't care. But a little bit of chicken on the side. A little taco mix situation. Oh, yeah. Mmm.